hang on, fuck the fans blowing on the oh, microphone mate. again. There we are, you can have that right up your kneecaps. Right up the kneecaps. <laughs> Get your kneecaps <laughs> fucked, Keep mate. Keep my sperm nice and alive. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Professional, as always. Oh Brilliant. my god, you started recording! <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been recording for a while now, that's fine. Mate. <laughs> Mate. Welcome, welcome everyone to the Antisocial Gamers Podcast! You are here with myself, Robert, and then you have with me your ever rosy cheeked host, Nathan. Hello. Oh, good. I'm getting that intro again, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I feel like I should introduce him. Um, yeah. You know him better, so. Yeah, we have a very special guest on the Very special. Episode. Yeah, well, thank Sorry, you. I'm insulting thank you. you for your, like, third grade humour there, Robert. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Success! <laughs> Sitting on the couch with us today is also Blake Richardson. Hello! Who you. More than likely, you should won't fucking know, know by oh, now. You, d- you should by Ooh, now. Pull your socks up. <laughs> Educate yourselves. The people that listen to our podcast don't necessarily. No. Um, Educate yourselves. What's You're going to learn today, people. <laughs> so, Blake, would you like to tell the people at home a little bit about yourself? Where the fuck you from, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say a bad, I was gonna say a bad <laughs> word and I didn't. I decided um, against it. Just something good. about myself. Uh, great. My penis is longer than two Argos pens, <laughs> and I'm not allowed an Argos anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've all learned something today. Um, I was about that, to say, how the fuck did you learn that? And you answered it. <laughs> that reminds me of a great Rick Mail joke. What does the man with the longest penis in the world have for breakfast? This morning I had scrambled eggs. <laughs> anyway, I like it. <laughs> you're with the Antisocial Gamers podcast for gaming news, and we have fuck all to tell you this week. Antisocial yeah. Gamers podcast plus one. Yeah, pl- uh, yeah, plus one this week. Uh, there's not been much news. Honestly. Yeah, okay, you two fit. Blah, 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 blah. Great. Just doing our own thing, sorry. Great. You carry on. <laughs> Actually, that gives me a bit of a nice segue, because I suppose we're going to skip past all of it. Let's talk about ourselves for ten minutes. That gives me a bit of a good segue into the um, the first topic that... The only topic, really, that I have. Is it Big Hero 6? It's to do with Big Hero 6, yeah. Oh, go on. I'm go so on. excited! And it was... <laughs> Basically, this is, this is the entire news. I'm Ke- on the edge of my seat. <laughs> he is. Big Hero 6 right. yes. will be involved in a certain video game. Right. And that video game... Kingdom Hearts! Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah! Robert, you remember we had that discussion about you being too quiet? <laughs> <laughs> Could you do that again, I think please? you've gone a bit too far in the direction. <laughs> Sorry, I spiked the audio. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty much all that has to do with that news. Is That it's that is so exciting. Big Hero 6 is going to be a part of the um, Kingdom Hearts universe, which does actually mean there is a bit of a nice link now, because that means, according to the Kingdom Hearts universe, there is a universe in which um, Red 13 and Iron Man exist in the same universe. Oh my god, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> because Marvel Disney Universe is so fun. Oh my god. So, I'm so confused right now. What's a Kingdom Hearts? A Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is a video game starring that kid who saw dead people what in that film with Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> That's a really good uh, explanation. Is that the fellow with the big key? Yes. yes. There we go, though. I know what it is. No, that's, no, the Bruce Willis is a ghost. <laughs> no, he's not the fellow with the big key. Yeah? No, no, Bru- Bruce Willis doesn't doesn't have, have a big, big key, key at any point. No. And I mean, Donald's... he might have a big key for his big mansion, but you never I... know. Donald Duck was in one, wasn't he? I t- yeah. In a Bruce Willis film? No, um, not Bruce Willis film. I, I think I was... he was in Die Hard, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the tough, no nonsense cop. He's not alongside Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Donald Duck. I'm, I'm going to go fuck up them terrorists. No, I can't, I can't do your voice. <laughs> no, I can't either. That's why I'm going. <laughs> That's like my most half assed Donald Duck impression ever. I do I do kind of wonder, but I've not actually checked. Is, is um, the same. Is it Haley Joel Osment still going to voice Sora in this uh, one? Because have you seen a picture of him? He's kind of... He's cur- turned into a bit of a doughy gentleman. A big fat Well, guy. he's not... Re- like, it, he's not mo-capped. Well, like, no, I know, It's but just his voice. I, can, I can't imagine him having the same voice as he did when he played a 15-year-old. Well, he didn't have the same voice between King Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. 
That's I know, it. but the difference between one and two. What? Sorry, I'll get I'll, puberty. I'll, yeah, puberty. Well, not being in a minute. Not being in a minute. Got I you know, but that, that was clearly puberty going from ah, goofy da, da, to goofy. Da, 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 goofy, to, goofy. You get your fucking tits <laughs> under it, sunshine. <laughs> you fat to atom. Okay. I imagine all the next skin is going to make the voice a bit different. He is quite a, a rotund gentleman. I, I can imagine. imagine all the, I can imagine him sounding quite jowly as well. Yeah, exactly. I, basically, I want Throw in the throat. I guess I want Richard Nixon running around for giant king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crook. My I'm friends, crook. my friends are my power. <laughs> I'm kind of America. <laughs> <laughs> it was like black splodgy darkness monsters, right? Yeah, the heartless. Yeah. You black, said that with such enthusiasm, Rob. Black splodgy darkness monsters. Yeah, the heartless. <laughs> there was those guys. They were I, fun. I really do like Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I never played any of the um, the minor games. I did. I've played all of them. There was one for the DS at one point. There, there, there are multiples. Yeah. Mul- multiples. There was Dream Drop Distance That's for the, the 3DS. 3DS. Oh my god, same thing. 358 slash 2 days. Oh my god. They have the worst what, names. What even, what, what, I don't know what you said it even meant. Birth Before Sleep. That's PSP, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, you're handheld. It's w- <laughs> two days or something. I don't know what they meant. I will warn the audience, the cat's running around, and she's mighty upset with us at the moment. So if, if we go quiet all of a sudden, it's because she's chewed on something. We've been brutally murdered yeah. <laughs> by Nathan's tiny, fluffy cat. Hello, Meowneer. She let me pick her up. Yeah, she's... she's... I could wield Meowneer. I am worthy. <laughs> what has she done to the coat? <laughs> she's got the cone dirty somehow. It's... We're talking about our fucking cat exactly. podcast. It's, it's all going off the rails now. Let's refocus. Blake, do you have anything you want to say? This podcast cannot about... focus. Just, just in general. Just in general? If you want to talk about the, the curtains. The curtains? Yeah. I'm not an Oscar Wilde kind of character, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. I can't spend a lot of time talking about curtains. <laughs> They're blue, but for what reason? I shall explain to you now. In, in five next, pages. the next eight passages of text, I shall explain to you why the curtains are blue. Over the next series of seven books, I shall inform you as to why the carpet is red. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all the video game news. Um, same time next fortnight, or... Uh, Robert? R- Robert. Bro. I was thinking of something clever to say really up close to the microphone. <laughs> Didn't happen. Yeah, but this is, some, this is something I should inform you. Robert likes to perform physical humour on this audio uh, podcast. We know how well that goes, don't we? Yeah. We've done a bit of that. <laughs> I don't think it really translates, does it? That's the problem. No, for example, the, <laughs> this, uh, the, <laughs> the audience doesn't know for the past minute or so, Robert was just like waving Wangling his gun his fingers. fingers. In my face. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't an unpleasant experience, I'll give him that. It was uh-huh. quite enjoyable, I enjoyed that. When I wave things in people's faces, it's always a pleasant experience. Chicken Welcome That's to the Antisocial Gamers about. Podcast. We're not antisocial mm. at all. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, it's been a fairly social couple of weeks for us, I imagine. I... Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> so I just love the pattern of this. As soon as one person starts speaking, the other two pick up their drink. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get the sips in somehow. We're, all on, we're all on alcohol. I should uh, probably explain as to why Blake is um, in this podcast. Yeah, Blake, anything. what the fuck you doing here? I didn't have anything better to do. Basically, he was in the house. I was, yeah. no. <laughs> just hanging around here. We've been here for the last four days. Nathan hasn't got the heart to keep me out. That's the thing. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> He's been bringing us Lucas A. Bless him. Love the Lucas Age. Sorry, yeah. I, I just live down the road if you need a place, like, because I'm just down the Bang! Road. There we go. <laughs> yeah, if, if you need a couple we'll, to share. Or we'll swapsies. I'm going to go home with Robert tonight. <laughs> this is going really well. I'm liking this. Um... <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> Blake is partaking in this podcast because, as I mentioned last week, um, at the end of this week is going to be the relaunch of my YouTube channel. <gasps> Which Robert will also be taking a part of. Oh, spoilers! Yeah, so essentially what it is at the moment is it's um, pretty much purely Let's Plays that are being developed at the moment. But there are Until other Tamara and Samara. Until, yeah, until some sketches, some yeah. reviews, some funny little tidbits that I have in mind. <laughs> Is that is that the voice you're practicing? No, that's what <laughs> we're, we're supposed to look at wigs. We, we, we're not oh my God, time. Yeah. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I found I found some on Amazon, but it, like like at, like actual good wigs. Oh, but I think we could probably rent them from like a costume shop for cheap. I'm Why so, do we need wigs? Oh, you don't need. You don't. Oh, I don't. This is this is this is for this is it's for a sit back back and sit it's, a, it's a sketch idea. Yeah, you you will get to partake in it. You will be playing the character of cute boy. Oh. Oh. oh, isn't that nice? That's very sweet. I'm, I'm well happy with that. Thanks well, you're the Nathan. only other male person Nathan. I know who's fine in front of cameras. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan, <laughs> Nathan. It's, it's by yes. Default. Nathan, you yes. really, you really shouldn't. Sh- don't, don't tell Blake, but like, you really shouldn't lie to him when he's right, right here on the couch. Well, I'm 
made a promise to his mother, you know. He's got to look out. It's... <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be listening. <laughs> Sorry, it was, a, it was a if we're dramatic a... aside. <laughs> <laughs> This is our soliloquy section of the podcast. Yeah, you're not that's supposed to realise. That's why we're better than the other podcasts. We have soliloquies. Name one of the fucking podcasts that has soliloquies. Uh, other, than, um, other than the Shakespeare happy hour. I was about yeah. to say. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast that, like, does Hamlet. Oh, no. For Hamlet. Soup, dear gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Three hours of Hamlet every week, non-stop, oh, whether you like face. it or not. That's that should be our next podcast venture. <laughs> just, just do a radio region. plays, yeah. Except it's only Hamlet. I know. <laughs> um, Every week. <laughs> we should we could... tune in see what they've got this week? Oh, it's Hamlet again. <laughs> <laughs> Come back next week and see what Shakespeare we're doing. Fuck you, it's Hamlet. Hamlet. <laughs> it's the only script we can afford. Hamlet's all we know. But the, the, the point where like people are falling asleep and they're dreaming of you guys doing Hamlet. That would be brilliant. Ugh. Up top. Down low. That was a... <laughs> That's the worst part of doing a down low. Who who decides to be on the bottom? Well, <laughs> I, mean, if, I don't really know. Physically, I mean, physically speaking, I'm always on the bottom. <laughs> 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 Is this, wah, 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 bah, bah, bah. Wah. it's just sitting <laughs> into madness the entire thing. It's going really well. Oh, well done, we've got about another 50 minutes to go. So. <laughs> Should we give Robert a minute to compose oh, himself? He's <laughs> so funny. He is so funny. Thank you. I like how Robert is good. No? So, Blake, how is your sex life? Oh, I'm David Cage with your more shots. <laughs> well, I must say about my sex life. Uh, you don't actually have to speak about it. I don't, go on. I, I don't actually have one. Oh. I tried Masper in the day and I had a headache. Oh. oh. Is that your Ronnie Dangerfield? Oh. Ronnie Dangerfield, chicka pow! <laughs> it's a good joke, that. It's a, it's a good joke, yeah, but the reason I, I, it's, it's too far gone for me to even go back to it now. No, 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 what go back. No, I, I, no, I was just going to say, with regards to the, the, download, the, the, down, the download thing, is that both Robert and I went in for like the, the down low at the same time, so it's just sort of our fingertips touched as really? cup hands and it was, it was weird. No. It was Wait, very, um... shit! Why are we discussing this on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you, that sir, is entrapment, and I will not be suffrage of it. <laughs> I did say suffrage of it, oh, but let's ignore go. that. Let's I am, move on. I, just to inform you all, I am literally the most funny human person. <laughs> Per- human no. person. Human person. Human person. Not like all of these other alien persons. Guys, or guys. People guys, I am, I'm really tired. <laughs> I think we're all a bit tired. I'm also drinking alcohol. It's a bad combination, dudes. I think we're all also drinking alcohol. I'm Mate. lit the fuck up. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Energetic as ever. Energy, yeah. It's right. like a sprightly little bunny. A star. Oh, um, it's quite a cute analogy. Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> I call you more like, um... Ah. I think a like twitchy a cock. No, no. <laughs> okay, I was going to say a, a, a sprightly little deer, maybe, because you're tall. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I like having Robert here. I'm having a great time. You're, yes. a, you're a majestic gazelle. Yes. Oh, there there we you guys are. are flattering me now. <laughs> Stay on the podcast. <laughs> you see, this way, Robert and I, you don't have to put in as much effort. Exactly. We don't have to if worry we have about a third silences. wheel, it's great. Do you think it's now developing three rather than two? So yeah. And you guys, when I think to say, I've got some stuff to say. Yeah. <coughs> You're going to be silly mistaken when, later on. When Nathan and I run out of things to say, we just kind of stare at each other, and then like the sexual get tension just builds up, and it's a bit too much. So <laughs> why are we go? It's tense. <laughs> I tell you, you have one outing for gentlemen, <laughs> and you are just That's it. <laughs> so vigorously charged in this episode. <laughs> one outing with a gentleman. I like the way you just said I went on a day. Yeah, I do want to say, yo, oh, you dined and wined a fine gentleman of the Northern Territories. I well, I. I don't know where he's from. Northern Territories? I don't know. He could be from the Lowlands. He's from Huntingdon. Oh, I see. He's from the. I don't know what direction that's in. I'm going to bolt this before it gets worse. Pretty sure it's still in the East Midlands. Oh. But is it up or down from where we are? Yeah, because d- anywhere north of here is north. North, yeah. It's north. north. Oh, my God. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. That, oh. I'm sure he's going to be thrilled that I'm talking about him on the podcast. Yeah, sorry. We're not naming any names. Whoopsie. Stephen. S- uh, close. Uh, close. Oh, that was weird. Close, but I was no. going to say, I, I forgot for a second, Paul. Shit, was that actually his name? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like psychic and shit. Uh, so we know you're listening, and you should be ashamed for listening. 
Oh, I thought you were going to be like ashamed for going out on a date with Robert. And was... no. no, man. No, thank you. Thank you for getting him out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> You've done. You made his mother very, very proud. <laughs> <laughs> My mother left me. She's in Scotland now. True story. It is but actually it's not true. quite as depressing. But, as hey, oh, now. I'm not actually that depressed. I have my own house. So. Yeah, you actually have furniture. So I have furniture. Yes, I should apologise for last week's last fortnight's episode because it did kind of sound because like we were recording. it was kind of like we were recording it in the what voice okay. were you doing then? <laughs> <laughs> not not Geppetto. <laughs> if he works for you know Tony of hey, the you Tony nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Italian mobsters, the Tony Brothers, because I'm it. stereotyping. Yay, stereotypes! <laughs> Again, I've completely forgotten what we were talking about. Shall we try and talk about some gaming stuff? I don't know, I think we've exhausted everything that was happening. Fallout 4 opinions? Okay, um, uh, yay. I've been playing pretty much non-stop Fallout 3 for the past few days, so well, obviously- I am so... Pumped. I'm sure there was some little bit of Fallout 4 news that I heard and I can't remember anymore. There was some that we looked up before the um, before we started recording, and that was simply that it's going to contain more assets than Skyrim. Ooh. But what that actually means, I'm not entirely certain. Is it that means it's got more bits in it? It's got Skyrim. more. It's got more bits and Different whatnot. Bits. Yeah. 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 Is there gonna it's... be nudity? Uh, Witcher, I'm sure you can watch it. Is there actually? Yeah, the Witcher got loads of nudity. I am going. It's to got play it's the got Witcher. dem titties. It's got lots of dem titties. <laughs> does have does have cocks in it? And it's not got any big donners, no. Well, then why should I watch? It says a fly going into your drink there, Wait, Robert. GTFO, mate. That's mine. <laughs> Is this the kind of level of professionalism you guys normally do, or is it like... It, this is probably the, the most professional thing we've done. Have you, Coaster! Have you not heard... Blake, have you not listened to the podcast? Of course he has, and he has sense. <laughs> I'm sat here in a hate sandwich. <laughs> oh, no, don't, I, love, I love the podcast, don't worry. I, I was listening back to um, the episode where we, talk, where we compared the Xbox One to a coma patient. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that! I keep meaning to listen to it, but I, I keep finding better things to do. Yes. No offence like, to you like guys. Like breathing and littering. <laughs> Come on, man. Littering. Littering. Go, go home and listen. Scrumping. Go, go home and listen to the podcast. <laughs> I've got to get on it. I've got to, I've got to get well, on it. Well, the thing is, yeah, as There's as a whole Blake 13 said, he's, episodes. He's, he's a world-famous scrumper. Is the thing well, that's true? It's a full-time it's hard job. To, it's hard to find time when you're scrumping. Yeah. It's like you know you how you get like famous cat burglars and assassins. He's a famous scrumper. You're talking to Scrumpy Jack, mate. Yeah. No, no we're not. Shall we? That's an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> Shall we? Is it? Oh, sorry. I think <laughs> it is. Shall we talk about like because just talking about something the, the assassins and whatnot. You know, it kind of made me think, and I was like, eh, we're going to talk about someone else's video again. But hey ho, I want to see what your your opinions are. Um, so. Matt Pat recently released a video about how um, Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs are oh. in the same sort of timeline. They're, yeah, they exist within the same universe. Yeah. They're within they're within like a couple of weeks of each other, sort of thing. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, That's sorry, really like, interesting. Yeah, there was um, there was a video release um, is from on a channel called Game Theory. Yeah, very good channel. I do recommend it. And they released a theory stating that essentially everything that's happened within the Ubisoft universe within the past like decade or something is coherent in its own timeline. Yeah, like, like far, a Marvel kind of thing. Yeah, yeah like your yeah. Far Cries, your Assassin's Creed, your Watch Dogs, all within like the same. Three Contained days universe. of each other. Ghost Recon. Ghost. Yeah, even Ghost Recon, but nobody plays that, so it's fine. <laughs> in it. I love the fact it? he just assumes that I've not heard what it is and just tells me about it. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Did you? <gasps> did you? No. Well, the, the yeah. thing for him, it's nice that he just assumes Blake's not going to know. You were staring at us blankly. No, I, I was. Inter- of... I was my interested face. <laughs> oh no. Your yeah. interested face also looks a lot like your. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's intrepidly vacant most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Good use of grammar. Thank you very much. Uh, My syntax is fucking on point, I, mate. I you, will have say quite, you have quite a firm grasp on the English vernacular. I've got Talk a lovely about silver tongue. grasp again. Not when your husband's in the same guests. room. <laughs> this is a particular... We usually have very gay episodes. This is a particularly gay episode. Yeah, we are. This, this is particularly is, sexual. It's quite gay. It's a little bit gay. I think I'm going to have to leave. To be honest with you, I'm quite enjoying it. That's all right. Oh. I love the, the, the oh. last days of Gomorrah and Sodom. That's what it is. <laughs> last days of Rome, mate. 
Whatever flies. Are we going to be turning to pillars of salt? Is that what oh you're saying? Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I've got enough salt in my attitude to cut, account for the two of us. <laughs> I was going to snap my fingers in a Z formation. Physical humour. Do, oh. some, do some hip stuff. Yeah. <laughs> snap your fingers in a Z formation. Exclamation. Hair rotation. I'm oh, sorry. he knows the full moves. I'm sorry I started this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what are we saying about Fallout 4? Are we excited? Are you a general a... consensus we were excited? I'm excited. I, I'm fucked off with Fallout 3, though. Because... Please, do explain. What is wrong? <coughs> sorry, let me die a little bit first. <laughs> Can you let go of me as well, please? No, I need to console you. <laughs> I need to console you because you're fucked off. I just, um, as everyone knows, Bethesda games, sort of as a rule... Are quite glitchy, aren't they? Are you talking about the save data problem? It, no, it wasn't. It wasn't save data problem, more or less. Yeah, thank <laughs> you for that violin. <laughs> there. Violin over here. He's a musical theatre student, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell? <laughs> Just <Jazz Jazz. hands. laughs> <Jazz hands. laughs> Basically, um, as I said, I've been playing Fallout Three pretty much non-stop for the past uh, week or so, and I got a very interesting glitch. Mm-hmm. To tell. Basically, what. Uh, t- to make it short, what happened was I left a building, and I wasn't able to look around. I could right. move. I could. I could move, but I couldn't look. I couldn't pan the camera. No, I couldn't or, pan or the camera. Your eyes or, like uh, I couldn't use my eyes. I couldn't use my eyes. So well, that's weird. I restarted the game. Same thing. Tried a different save. Worked perfectly. So I had lost and. Obviously, because that was an auto save, uh-huh. and in those sorts of games, you don't tend to save very often because the auto save's got your back, hasn't it? It's got you Wrong. Covered, mate. It's got you covered. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this that is was... two episodes in a row. I've had to move away from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think that was the episode before where I shouted a lot about what's his face. Oh yeah, it was the I episode forgo- before. I for- <laughs> I've forgotten his name now. Randy Pitchford. Oh no. <laughs> That was his name. Fuck me for a bag of hammers. Randy Pitchford. Randy <laughs> Richford. Are you trying to get that on a t shirt? Yeah, okay. pretty much. I'm trying to license that as a fuck me with a bag of yeah. hammers. Fuck me with a licensed t shirt. It's going to be the same one over and over again. Fuck me for a bag of hammers. I will say, I'm very upset that you're not wearing the same shirt you were wearing yesterday. I was meant to, and I forgot. <laughs> what? what did it say? Uh, last Christmas, don't sing the rest of the song. Um, did you, I gave I, you my heart. No. <laughs> uh, what I, ga- I gave Blake a t shirt. This t-shirt was a very Did special Did the very next t-shirt. day he give it away? No, he still got it. I saw it yesterday. I just mentioned, pick up the pace, Robert. <laughs> Concentrate, for God's sake, guys. <laughs> sorry, what sorry. This, what this t-shirt was, right, um, it's a picture of my face. Oh, my it's God. I've got him a t-shirt with my face on it. It's my favourite t-shirt of all time. <laughs> Is it just your face? No, it's, it's got a bit of my body. Basically, I think it was last year as well, we um, got some family photos professionally taken. I don't know if you've seen any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think... But there's one of me sort of like sensually leaning on a couch with like this smirk on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I've just taken that and put it... On a put it on a t-shirt. For I tell like... you what, do you just wear it like yeah. no fucking context? <laughs> you yeah. have you have Nathan <laughs> fucking looking sensually on your shirt and in public. Yeah, no, not in public. But when he's with me at a bub, at a bub, at a pub, at a bub, at a bub, I wear it for my pajamas as well. Yeah. <laughs> I always do you get... wear it when entertaining just... your lady friends? <laughs> <laughs> you just get to hug it and I get into be so night. close to him. I get into bed at night and I'm like, night Nathan, and I go, night Blake, and I kind of pull, <laughs> the, pull the front of it to make it look like he's talking as well. And we have a little conversation. <laughs> and then I kiss him goodnight. <laughs> like that. And oh then my God. we lay down together and we, we fall asleep. <laughs> The that thing is, is, I find it difficult to believe that he's joking. That is beautiful. <laughs> it's truly beautiful. So, Robert, I know I'm getting you for Christmas. Can I have one, please? I might just. I might oh, just give you so one. Exciting. I was trying to get him to make underpants as well. <laughs> like, a picture of his no, face on both bum that'd cheeks. That'd be amazing! And they're both, like, inverted, so they're looking yeah, at each other. <laughs> So the eyes, and if you clench your butt cheeks, they kiss oh my God. <laughs> across the intergluteal cleft. They're making eyes at each other. <laughs> intergluteal cleft. That's what your bum crack is <laughs> in actual medical science. <laughs> Well, I think I've made a bad addition to the podcast today. <laughs> that it's might make for... Cleft. <laughs> That's probably going to be the title for this episode. Thank you, Blake. Oh, God. You're welcome, I think, guys. I think the name of this episode should just be fucking called A Mess. A Mess. It's not that much of a mess. No. Not well, yet. We've maybe... talked about maybe two video game topics. It's, uh, yeah, because we've got fuck all else to talk about. I'll just jump back on to what you were saying, Nathan, if I could. About yeah, the... Um, the glitches. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With Bethesda... 
I found the same sort of thing in um, Skyrim as well. Yeah. Uh, they, they do Skyrim as well, don't they, Bethesda? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, my kind of one was, I'd completed all the... I don't know if you completed it yourselves. Sorry, I was just Snapchatting. Bear me a second. Oh, uh, great, yeah, we're taking a Brilliant. selfie. Okay, so we just selfied. But yeah, um, in Skyrim, I was with Jorgen Windcaller, the bringer of disorder. Right. And we were going across... Say his name three times fast. <laughs> we were going across to the to Solitude, or wherever it is, to destroy the Empire, basically. Yeah. On the way there, this big fucking dragon came down and just kicked the shit out of Jürgen Windcaller. Oh, like, poor Jürgen. And oh, then I couldn't him. get him back again. So all of his quests after that were locked off because this big dragon came down and just, just did his business. Just did, pop, did his business just, all over you. Just popped his nut right, right all over. <laughs> so that's what I meant to say. He, he oh like, my god! Shot all his stuff right all over. You're just no, making it worse. No. Gave it the old shifty over everyone. He lit Jorgen Winkler on fire and killed him. <laughs> he rocked his world. He did. <laughs> And I was like, and well, now, it, what, now what do I do? I said, did it give you like a failed quest? No, or it just, no, no, no okay. it kind of, the quest kind of carried on, but you had to get Jürgen Winkler to the doors of Solitude <coughs> to continue with the quest. So that one was continually like in a state of... Um, did you try dragging him there? <laughs> Get out of his corpse. Was, yeah. Come on, Jürgen. Come on. This is singed, kind of steaming corpse. Um, <laughs> That's a very uncomfortable smile on my face. I'm very sorry. It's because Talk you're always uncomfortable. Again. That is your. I don't. Twitter that is name. me. Yes. <laughs> We're friends on Twitter. I don't know this. I'm, oh. I'm really happy. Why do you have such a very strange username? Blake Rear two three eight four two two podcast. five six. No, we're doing this now, so we have to advertise your fucking Twitter at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, then what if Blake R couldn't have it? Why Blake R eleven? Couldn't have it. Why well, Blake R ninety three? Couldn't have it. He said, "You can have this, but fine, I'll have that. That's fine. <laughs> Wicked. I'll have that." That's yeah, fine. you're just like. Um... <laughs> but no, I do love Bethesda games, and usually I adore Bethesda. Games. But the thing is, I don't tend to fun. have like such um, glitches like on PC. Weirdly, like I, f- I find they. Get patched a little quicker on the PC version. I find that's the conceit, isn't it? Your hardware is very limited when you come to PS3. Yeah, it's like just I'm very scared to play it now. Like, PC Master Race. I don't mean I don't mean like that. Although I do love playing Skyrim on the PC. It's it is a lot of I fun. Get, I've got I've got so many pointless fucking mods on that. Like I downloaded a mod that turns all of the um, the gold pieces into pound coins. <laughs> just because <laughs> someone has actually had to sit, think about that, and do program it. that, yeah. and then make that widely available. Yeah. I think that's more a cry for help than a mod. That's, that's yeah, like, maybe. But, you know, I'm just saving all the time on the game now, because every little thing goes wrong. Like, I was yeah. trying to save the kids from uh, Paradise Falls, the slaver camp, and like and I, was supposed to, work. I was supposed to meet them outside, and one of them just sort of stood in the corner saying, yeah, I'll meet you outside. Yeah, I'll be outside in a minute. But yeah, could... meet me outside, mister. It's like, no, fucking move, and I punched him in the face. I just went, <laughs> oh! <laughs> he just went, just cool! Lost, lost your cool completely with a yeah. little kid. Maybe he was like, I'll go and meet you outside. I've got my kind of lady books to get more of. I'm going to... And you put him books. in the face. Yeah, you know, like, lady books. Like, sorry, like... <laughs> sorry, sorry, like... What oh, is right, book? like jazz magazines. Yeah, yes. ancient pornographic scrolls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and then he's got to get all those gathered up and put them yeah. in a little sack and well, he's, he's pillowcase. Like, I did, like, sort of teleport away and teleport back some time later and he was still there. It's like, no, 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 it's fine, I'm here. It's like, it's like the fucking movie. He's having like, a fucking sp- marathon. Sp- Sky- <laughs> Skyrim, the Lady Scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see what kind of uh, glitches come up in Fallout 4. No, Fall- Fall- yeah, Fallout 4. Glitches are always fun. I will say, I am excited for Fallout 4, but I do have my worries. Has anyone got an idea what the story is going to be yet? No, that's that's shit. <laughs> ba 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 ba. That's one of the things as well because they've not, they, but they don't think they've re- really revealed much of the story in anything. They they're kind of pulling off the name, kind of it's, it's yeah. fall out again. You're going to buy you know, it. They know you're, it's going to sell like millions. That should be the tagline. You'll buy it anyway. <laughs> You'll buy it anyway, regardless but, of what we tell you about the story. I'm just a little worried. Is it too busy of a game? Like one thing I like about um, Fallout Three and e- even New Vegas is that. Y- 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 your quest is to find shit and d- deal with it. Yeah. Whereas in Fallout 4 they have the whole sort of um, build like a city mechanic, build structures. It's kind of getting a bit Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I, d- two, I kind of don't want to have to two? get half... Yeah, I don't... Wanna... It's hilarious. People like crave Fallout and then in about a month they're going to be popping out new ones every like hour. Uh, You're gonna get what, a children or yeah. Fallout? 
Fallout. Right. So that they're, they're just going to be the next Assassin's Creed. They'll just pop a new one out oh, every couple dear. months. <laughs> now, what, what I'm saying is, I don't want to be like yes. sort of halfway, a couple of hours through a mission or something, and then just get a notification saying, you've got to get back to your base, it's being attacked by raiders. It's like Fallout 6 City Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> it, like you say, I just kind of don't want it to turn into like a, a Ubisoft game. Yeah. Ubisoft. Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of used a lot in different kind of games, this whole kind of city building mechanic, isn't it? And obviously they've released Fallout Shelters not too long ago, so yeah, there'll probably be yeah. some yeah. iOS and Android tie-in with with the new release. Oh, yeah, that I happened. It, the Fallout Shelter came out for the Android. I I haven't played it because I've not got enough memory. Oh. And I can't make enough memory but, well, because it would, it just won't fit on my phone. What did you just say? It won't fit on my memories because it doesn't have enough memory. <laughs> <laughs> it sorry, sorry, what did you just say? Fallout... I don't know... <laughs> what did I say? I I don't know because I couldn't hear because I didn't have enough memory. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were talking about how your phone didn't have enough memory, and I tried to say, oh, "What was that? What did you say?" Uh, because I didn't have the short term memory. But to you, you were making it sound like you didn't listen, which is not the same as forgetting. No, it is. It's, it's a half joke. It's, a- it's nearly all the way there. Guys, come on. Oh, tweet, tweet, tweet at the Antisocial Gamers Pcast if you thought that I was funny and <laughs> that my joke was coherent. If you think that joke was actually a joke, text yes to <laughs> six. <laughs> text yes to oh one two one do one. What do you oh, oh one two one, one do one? Fucking do one. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you? Oh, I've never played Metal Gear Solid in my life. Yeah. What okay. do you guys think about the new? I'm, obviously, I'm very uneducated on the subject. What do you guys think about the new release? I mean, microtransactions in the main story. Are you serious? Yeah, that's all. You haven't heard this yet. No. Yeah, they've got microtransactions, but the thing is, the game itself had like a review event, and it's apparently pretty fucking solid. But can I jump in? I, I see what you did there. Can I jump in and say they had thirty-five hours to play it, and they were supervised every single hour? Well, did they not sleep? No, but they obviously <laughs> took breaks. But they had thirty-five <laughs> hours reviewer copies to play, and they were supervised all the way along. Blimey. And not only that. They had no experience from the multiplayer, which you need the microtransactions for the single player. Ah, That's where it goes into, you see. Oh, right. So it's kind of a weird way around oh, they're doing it. Oh. So they don't know how grindy the single player is going to be to get you the good bits <laughs> that you don't get through microtransactions for the multiplayer. I will be incredibly interested to see what happens to that game when it comes out, because there is so much shit going on around it, it even with like the business practice of a, Konami. It is a kind of minor on controversy, isn't it? What I the- really hope that you load up fucking... Metal Gear Solid, the new one, and it's a fucking pachinko game. Oh. I will hit the lever. I will cry <laughs> tears of joy. I would love it if, like, during his last sort of days at um, Konami, Kojima put like a fail safe in the code of the game. Where if he, well, like, like, if he gets Jurassic fired, yeah. Yeah, if he gets fired, then like as no, soon as no, the game no. is released, yeah, it just comes up a bit of his going, no, 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 <laughs> the guy from Jurassic Park, yeah, yeah. yeah. please. <laughs> Please, that'd be incredible. <laughs> Kojima-san, if you're listening. Kojima-san! There, were, there was one bit of like weird news that came out of um, Metal Gear Solid 5 recently, other than the uh, review of it, as I said. Sorry, as Blake said, I'm just taking your fun there. <laughs> um, they've got a contest going on for people who uh, pre-order the Steam version to win some goodies. One of the goodies available is a signed poster for Metal Gear Solid 5. It doesn't say who it's signed by, though. Not Hideo Kojima. But that's the thing. Ah, that's that's the thing. Because sure. I read it on uh, Kotaku, and the thing that they uh, pointed out was the fact that Kojima absolutely loves going to signing events. Mm-hmm. He'll, you know, hand him a neckerchief and he'll sign it. Hand him your baby and he will sign it. Just hand him anything and he'll sign it. But I'm going to test that next time I hang out with Hideo Kojima. <laughs> And we often do hang out <laughs> to the point where I can't actually pronounce his last name properly because I, I just call him I just call him Hey Hey that's what I call him Hey 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 Yeah I go in and go Hey 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 and that's what we do Sally from the fucking Jersey Shore <laughs> <laughs> so I'd love to get him just to sign speaking of signing my things bodies. <laughs> speaking of signing things yeah last week I was at um, Cam Jam which is like a camping jamboree thing oh right um, and. I was there on the entertainment team, and I was like... Oh, yes, you did do a yeah, thing, didn't you? I was doing I was doing shows every night, and I was doing, like, mixtures of songs from, like, 80s night, where I did, like, uh, Living on a Prayer, um, and then, like, frickin... Were you halfway... Th- Never mind. Yes. <laughs> um, and then on the radio, where I was doing, like, I don't know, some song by Five Seconds of Summer, which is coincidentally... Fucking Five Seconds of Summer. Coincidentally, the same length 
as their career. Oh, <laughs> <Five seconds. laughs> um, and I did like f- Uptown Funk or something. And then um, yeah, so after the after the whole week, these kids were like going away to go home and whatever. And there's there's at least two thousand of them, and people were lined up by the entertainment's team tent. And they were, like, asking us for our autographs on their shirts and whatnot. And I was like, I feel famous. I've made it. It's Hurrah! amazing. <laughs> when you signed, did you, instead of your signature, just put a link to the podcast? Because <laughs> that would be great. I should have. <laughs> just follow us at Antisocial PCAST. <laughs> no, I just wrote my name. I didn't you. even fucking oh. do a signature. I just wrote my name. Because I don't have a signature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining just the l- l- larger and bolder Robert Hubbard oh, they're just Robert with a backwards B <laughs> <laughs> such is my life <laughs> what can you, that'd be good no one would guess that signature Robert Robert <laughs> okay good we're out of topics to talk about again Jesus Christ we've got well, a well I kind of <laughs> you know what? we've done better than I thought we would yeah it's been it's been very like kind of We've come quite far. It's been pretty chill. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let, let, let's spend the rest of the podcast reminiscing about the times we said we had. Oh, do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember ten minutes ago when Nathan and I were like discussing about being bottoms? <laughs> do you remember Tim was scaring you, Nathan's <laughs> Chris Pompey downstairs in business? That was awesome. It's all right. Nathan already told the whole podcast that he's not a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> for the rec- for the benefit of the recording, my my sexual life is private. <laughs> but I lie. About things all the time. <laughs> I lie about things all the time. Me too. <laughs> I'm not even gay. You see, I. <laughs> <laughs> I just pretend. For a laugh. Just for a laugh. <laughs> not for serious. Just for a laugh. I just I'm like sorry, to see Stephen. I just. <laughs> I just like to see girls in the changing room, and they're all defenseless when I'm like, "Oh, yeah. gay, it's fine." They come up to. <laughs> They come up to you and say, can you check my breasts? And I'm like, yes, oh, yes. Oh, Go on, can I? Here, let me check you for lumps. <laughs> yeah, you got two big ones on your chest. Well, Who hey. check you for lumps? I've got one, it's in my pants. Mm. Um. <laughs> Not, oh, God. Unlike the lumps in your breast, this one's a lot easier to get rid of. This hey! Hey! Nice one. <laughs> this is the biggest my circle dick. jerk we've ever had on this podcast. Yeah, it's my dick. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, it. did you get it? It's my dick. Everyone be quiet for a moment. It's my dick. It's guys, me. guys, seriously. It's Blake's dick. <laughs> this has been a fucking disaster. If, if, if no. iTunes allowed us to... This is our podcast. You well, can't fucking come well, on the podcast and, and insult it. <laughs> okay, okay, quiet down. Okay, Blake, I brought you on this podcast, you know, in good faith. I, was, I, I expect you to bring some... Fucking professionality to the <laughs> some positivity. Yeah. Some positivity. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bring, bring us down a bit, but for fuck's sake, but get your shit together. <laughs> He's probably going to go. Blake, <laughs> Blake. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave the podcast. <laughs> He's probably going. That's the thing. Blake, right. Get out. Collect your things. Right, let's Say goodbye. Right. Say goodbye <laughs> to the nice lady receptionist on your way out. Yeah, we've got a receptionist now. Her name's Dawn. And she has three kids. She always tells us about them. She's a lovely lady. All of them bottoms. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of Dawn. Ah, this is a link for you. Lovely segue. I love Twilight. Let's just let it settle for a moment. I don't. Nathan, like, please continue. I don't like Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> a game was released recently. Um, it actually should be out by the time this podcast comes out. Is um, it Breaking Dawn? No, no until, until dawn. dawn. Is it a is it a video game adaptation to the Twilight hit movie? Breaking Why dawn? are you wanting to talk about Twilight? I don't. I'm, I'm in just, physical pain. I'm just saying things. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, released in the um, Americas recently. Um, the Americas. Uh, the Americas. All the Americas. Not to be confused with any other Americas. The Americas being North America and Canada. <laughs> <laughs> with South America, not get, we just don't do not do not talk. About I don't know. We don't talk about South America now. We don't talk now. about South America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until dawn. Please yeah. continue. No, it, very I have read some very glowing reviews about it. The um, the premise of the game is basically any ninety slasher film you can think of. Amazing. And I love ninety slasher. Scream. Movies. Yeah, it, it, it borrows a lot from Scream. It borrows a lot from Saw. It borrows a lot from. Like, oh, uh, is that? Is that? Um, you're grabbing my knee again. I grabbed Blake's too. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, can I get some ointment for this bird? <laughs> is, that, 
Is that the game that's sort of like the um um uh, like 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 it's like the Telltale kind of like it's sl- like Heavy Rain. Ah! It's like Heavy Rain if David Cage I um, lie. his dark fantasies. I lie. I did see it. I've seen it looks, trailers, and I'm like, <gasps> that looks amazing. It looks so good, and apparently it is so good. I've I seen I want stuff. to go to there. I've seen a lot of stuff about the fact that it's a lot more Quantic Dream than Quantic Dream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Our man Jim Sterling says it's much the same. Yes, he does. It's much. It's kind of like it's your decisions actually kind of. I want to see it. I want to see. I want to play it and wanna, adapt the plot. I want to do it. Yeah, basically, the idea of it is you are eight teenagers who are you know just you just a standard you know. I've always. Bait. I've, I've always, always wanted, wanted to be eight, eight teenagers. teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? I don't really know. We've got a little bond going. We're this trying, night, so. we're trying to be eight teenagers, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Look, I always knew that you two wanted to get inside eight teenagers, but... Wait! <laughs> what do you mean, what is fair? To... <laughs> oh, I've been there. I might Done be that. soon. Done those. <laughs> Done those. Done all eight of them, in fact. <laughs> in one night. That was... Uh, nice. He high-fived. See you yeah, he, he was a serial killer, is what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, didn't... that's the premise. <laughs> Sorry. Not a serial killer. Serial rapist. <laughs> not a serial killer. Yes, we both went there. I'm so happy. I am both overjoyed and upset that you two have such a perfect mental connection right now. It was high fiving all over yeah, the fucking that's, shop. Right I don't there. know what to call that. <laughs> the spastic flailing. So. You can't say that word. You can. You so can't what? say the word flailing on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not with two gays on it. What? <laughs> so after this, we're going to go down to the pub, right? Ugh. Uh, no, I've got work in the morning. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, what are you doing tomorrow night? Me? Yeah, are you uh, working? Guys, I think I'm kind of busy on the podcast right now. Ah, fuck it, we're done <laughs> now. I've stopped arranging your personal think, life. Think... Is that what we did last time? We just started talking about what we're doing. I think I'm working as well. What, do you think? Ah. Oh. Again, we're just talking about ourselves. So while Robert's looking up what whether or not we can go drinking tomorrow... <sighs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting Sorry, Why did you stop everyone from talking so that you could cough up a lung? <laughs> I've been ill. I'm sorry. And, uh, Shall I just jump in and start talking? Yeah, go. Yeah, if you go, can, Blake. You can... Right, okay. I've got something to tell Winch about. Oh. Get, we're, we're done with that until dawn, are we? Until dawn, I think it's great. It's I think I'm brilliant. really excited to see it. Not see I, it, fucking play it. I'm well up for it. I'm, I'm definitely going to do a video on it. I am DTF. If not play it, I'm going to... If not do a video on it, I'm going to play it, Definitely. I'm very, very excited. Oh my god, I'm doing a fucking split shift tomorrow. <laughs> Ugh. I'll just, just shout over him. Basically. Ugh. 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 Is, it, is it that one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, dog. It's all, it's all... I don't know what's going on. 13 hours, man. Oh. I'm lost. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm working for 13 hours tomorrow. Let's all feel sorry for Robert. Aww. Have we felt sorry for Robert? Okay, yeah. let's move on. Right. Press X dog. to feel sorry. <laughs> Press X to... Yeah. Media. Press X to Kevin Spacey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We're getting on like a house on fire. Um, Speaking of which, just don't talk about the house on fire. God damn it! Speaking of which, until dawn has a house on fire in it. I don't know if it has or not. It I'm might. Just... It probably. You know, it, it might end with it. it. Yeah. Might ah, too. spoilers. But all the snow, Robert, means there'll be no fire because it's too cold. Is there a lot of snow? Uh, yeah, it's in a snowy mountain place. Is it in, is in the snowy mountain? In place? the snowy mountain place. <laughs> Because they're driving along, what, having a nice time. Oh, no, I'm not, not going to say that. Other They've time. got a smash mouth on the radio. Oh, so somebody once told me the world. I don't think we need to shout this loud. <laughs> that's that's enough of that. Oh, They've got a smash mouth on the radio. They're going. Where are we going? The lady in the back, she pulls out a map and goes, "Snowy Mountain Place." <laughs> they see the sign saying "Snowy Mountain Place" eight miles that way. <laughs> Bang! We're on the way to Snowy Mountain Place. Um, well, they get there. There's a little sign saying "Snow Mountain Place." <laughs> I've lost control. <laughs> I was providing. I was providing ambience. In I was like letting the audience imagine your world. Yeah, he was. He was and giving was, us the ambience of eight shitty teenagers. We were world building. Oh. That, was, that felt good. You're, I enjoyed that. You're welcome, audience. Well, so I don't need to say thank you. Let Sorry. me see. Let me see any other podcast that provides a world building experience, such as singing Smash Mouth <laughs> <laughs> under your breath at the microphone for a bit. Uh, so you're gonna have a rant about something? Yes, yes. go on. I was gonna rant about something. Right. Okay, guys, sit down. Listen up. They're Pull probably laying up. down. Pull your socks up. Sit up. I don't want you laying down. Sit up. Pay attention. 
focus. This podcast isn't for you to fall asleep to. Exactly. Get your hand out your pants. I just screamed for the last 30 minutes. Get your hand out your pants and listen. But I like to wank while listening to podcasts. (laughs) Sorry. That's what what I do. What? Refocus. Can can, can I ask, what has happened (laughs) for the past couple of weeks that's led us to this? This is... This is our... um, This is what we are now. I'm just an age. I'm just. I'm just enjoying the fun. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is our fancy word for the best thing we'll ever do. I can't remember what the fancy word is. Magnum opus. Ah, oh, Blake, man, you get me. Blake, you're a writer, aren't you? I like to think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan mind melt's going on right now. Oh man, you get me, man. Right, my rant. I'm going to do it quickly. Go on. Right. Before we Rachel get distracted Kane. again. Exactly. Before we start singing Smash Mouth again. Hashtag antisocial tangents. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Back in the good old days of PS Plus, when PS Plus games were full games. Yes. They yeah. were good days, right? Well good. I played Drive Club the other day, the PS Plus edition, and that thing pissed me the fuck off. Go on. Right. You've got, like, what? The three cars a class, the rest of DLC. Mm-hmm. You've got, like, five tracks, five places to go in the world, the rest of DLC. Right. Or, it keeps, I keep going through it, and it keeps going, oh, if you upgrade to the full edition, you can so- get all this extra content. So is it basically PS Plus DLC the game? Well, it's basically PS Plus is now it's, becoming a demo it's service. It's a demo, than, yeah. What? Yeah, it's it's pretty much a demo rather than like a full thing. It's like PS Plus edition rather than the full That's experience that you get. Just to fucking confirm, nothing, garbage. Nothing like this has happened on PS Plus as far as I'm no, aware. Not as far as since, I know. Since, since they started actually making it like a download the game, keep mm-hmm. the game. Dude, yeah. what the fuck? I mean, I've, the, I mean, I get every PS Plus game every month. Give them a couple of tries. Some things don't work. Some things do work. But Tower of Guns, full game. Never Alone, full game. Everything that they've done so far is like a full game release. Now this is becoming like a glorified demo service. And don't forget, I'm paying f- like 50 quid a year to get into this. That is some bullshit right there, man. And then I've got to upgrade it for 11 Oh, shit. Are you looking at it now? Yeah, no, well, I was, I was just looking up to see who published it, because I thought, this is probably the work of EA, your fucking Activision. I was like, no, it's a Sony-owned first-party title. There we go, then. Sony, get your shit together. Yeah, that's the thing, though, because you think... Like, their own personal games. That would be, like, the one thing they could spare to, actually. Exactly. They for, could for free. take a hit on and then make the money later on. Then again, they only... They came out last fucking year. Why is it... It was supposed to come out when the PS4 came out. It was put back a lot. What? Yeah, yeah it was put back a lot. According to this, its initial release date was uh, October 7th, 2014. I'm not sure what wow. part of the world that was in, but... you know, Yeah, guys, don't buy Drive Club. That's some Blake consumer advice. Well, I've got a face there for you. Well, how is how is Drive Club as a game anyway? I've heard it's kind of it's meh. Yeah, I've heard I've heard some fairly unfavorable things about it. I wasn't a fan, but my I was annoyed and I was kind of perturbed and put off by the fact that it was kind of DLC, like Robert says, the game. It was yeah. like a demo for the actual game. Perturbed is a fantastic word. Thank you very much. I'm breaking all the big words. Well, I, well, I, I, I the Saurus when I came in this evening. I I well you know I I generally have quite like a wide range of. You know, fancy words to use as well, but you're using them all up. Vocabulary. No, I like saying fancy words. Can I just just say, Robert's never complimented me to this degree, and now I'm sad. Bullshit, (laughs) I compliment you almost every podcast. Yeah, but you haven't complimented me once this fucking podcast I said that you were lovely. Oh, okay. At the beginning of the episode, didn't I? Yeah. Didn't I? I want that on my grave. Nathan, lovely boy. Nathan is very handsome. (laughs) I often... Nope. And I hear... Not going there. I hear... <laughs> he's got a really big dick. <laughs> but yeah, but Nathan told you that, didn't he? What is earlier, happening Blake, right now? Earlier in the podcast, did he did lies. My, some of my family members listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> Dane, <laughs> Lauren. Did listen you... Listen up. <laughs> listen up. This is a story all about how my life got so <laughs> flipped upside, upside down. down. <laughs> I'll take a minute and sit right there. And I'll tell you all about how I the Prince of Ballet. Oh my god. Anyway, Drive Club. Fuck me off. <laughs> it's supposed to come out when it came out and like you say it's a first um, party Sony release title it should be <laughs> they can afford to take a hit on it well, yeah. and they're going to get the money back later no. it's weird that's the, the first one that we know of in <coughs> one of our living memories that's happened that way on PS Plus because you get things like next week well next month sorry you get you got Grow Home you got a couple mm-hmm. of more stuff oh, from PS Plus Grow Home I'm very excited I love very Grow excited. Home I've never played it before I'm very excited for that oh it's so cool how much is how much is that PS Plus nowadays 60 £60 for the first year, £50 right. for the renewal. Right. 
And if it's going to go the way it's going, you're going to get like glorified demos for 50 quid. Time to get rid of your subscription. You get kind of like um, Um, access into beaters and you get access into... um, like you get kind of discounts off games already and things like that. I mean, I got Shovel Knight for five ninety nine rather than eleven ninety nine. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, but the developers Sp- deserve that money. Speaking, they do deserve that money. speaking of Shovel Knight, there was <gasps> Plague there was, of Shadows. This is the knowledge that we you told me. Yeah, this, this is, is this Plague is, of Shadows news. No, oh. there's a Plague of Shadows. Is there a second Shovel Knight game coming out? Yeah. Oh well, this isn't quite as interesting as that. Don't worry. Basically, we read on the news, the the internet news this week. That Shovel Knight is getting its very own amiibo. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Do you want them? Do you want amiibos? I have a Wii U. Why no. not? Do you have Shovel Knight on the Wii U? No. Exactly. You wouldn't is get it much on out the of Wii U? it. I I can only assume so. If they're getting a plushie out of it. Yeah. No. Shovel Knight is on essentially every platform. It's it's on the microwave. <laughs> you can play it on a fucking calculator. That's what you was go, going on earlier. Yeah. You go, you go on your calculator and you type in five five three four eight <laughs> zero zero eight. You turn it upside down. You got boobies. And then if you hit asterisks and then divide it by sin costs, bang! Nice. You got shovel up, my friend. <laughs> but saying that, yeah, that's what I was playing on the microwave earlier, Nathan. You were saying what? I was playing on the microwave earlier. Yeah. It was all going off the microwave, aren't you? Yeah, the shit. Can you stop squealing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. It's like trying to do a podcast with an overexcitable velociraptor. So we've got videos uploading to the channel as as we're recording. Nathan, just tell me exciting news. Yeah, it's very exciting. We've got two videos scheduled for release already. Yeah, I don't, when I was talking about this earlier, you two fucking distracted me. I never actually came up with a date. The um, the first video, which is a playthrough of Dark Souls with myself and Robert, making my penis hard. Yeah, that, and also... <laughs> Sorry, it'll be to throw you off again. <laughs> you carry on. Pound it. Bam. Bam. I, I, I feel it. like I'm working at a daycare with, like, two aspergic arseholes. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're working in a pen full of just fucking monkeys just all over the place. You've got this, Travis. Go Sunday. On, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Take Sunday. Go. Sunday. Take it, go on. I'll 12 o'clock it. in the afternoon. That's when the first video of the Super Happy Fun Times Let's Play series will return. As said, it is episode one of Dark Souls with myself and Robert. <laughs> I'm very excited. Are you actually? Are yeah, you going to watch I'd, it? Uh, definitely. I'd love to see how you guys get on. I'm very excited uh, for it. There is something not, that Nathan no. does in the first episode that will... Have second! You, have you played Dark Souls? I believe yes. it's second episode. It's the second episode. Yeah. You, so you yeah. played Dark Souls? Yeah. Are you, are you good at it? Not really. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I was trying... I was hoping that I'd have someone to like... Grow, like wine to because Nathan's just <laughs> takes, he what takes, are you about I'm doing so well <laughs> he takes forever and I'll be like remember that Even you need to block everything he was like yeah okay <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> just like fucking Zora but there's just in, there's something he, there's something around. he does in the second episode and it just makes me like cause I'm like oh yeah if you do I just stop and you'll have to like watch to yeah, see definitely. What he, I'm to see what he does it. but it I, it makes me stop speaking. <laughs> when Nathan told me that you guys were doing that, I was very, I was very pumped for it. I'm very excited for that. It's because I'm fucking super into Dark Souls. So and yeah. I was like, Nathan, go on, mate. In it. Yeah, I'm going to advertise it at the end of the episode anyway, but if you want to go find the channel, if, it, if it's past Sunday... Uh, Sunday, 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 Sunday! Yeah, thank you for repeating the, the joke that I hilariously Pound quit it. earlier. Pound it! <laughs> <laughs> We get you on pretty well. <laughs> I'm liking this. If you go to the YouTube channel, <laughs> if Sorry. you go to the YouTube channel, who needs quality? You will find the uh, let's plays being uploaded um, along with these two assholes. <laughs> they- they'll take part in the videos. Deal with it. Um. <coughs> anyway, we are getting close to the end of the episode, so I think it is is about Wrap time. Up time. No, it's time we get onto the questions, boy. Oh, okay, fair enough. Mr. Yeah, Pussy do you not, Boy. Do you not know how this fucking podcast is run? <laughs> not really, no. Um. So, to get on to our first question from Caleb's son, who is at Kleb the Pleb. That's K-L-E-B-T-H-E-P-L-E-B. Yeah. Um, his question is, Robert, why are you drawing sunglasses on your hands? <laughs> I heard this before the recording. That's oh, not that's, his question. No, it's not really the question. That is really specific. <laughs> Kate, Caleb, how did you know? Psychic, no. my friend. <laughs> his question actually is, if you could make a TV series or movie out of any video game, what would it be? I'm going to throw this to Blake because I'm going to assume that he thought about it. I didn't think about it. Oh, Blake. I'm like, uh, alone in the dark. A load of a bowl, mate. Oh, That's what I they've think. already made. Yeah, I was gonna say they've already. Okay. 
Right, now if I think about it, let me give you a skimmy. Right. Okay, Robert, do you have an answer for this yet? Yes, the, okay. um, the game that I would adapt into a TV series or film. A TV yeah. series or movie, yeah. I... Or audio play. Let's, let's broaden the horizons <laughs> Oh, a bit. yeah, or, yeah, you know, no, yeah. I'd like that too. Um, would be Hamlet of the Video Game, the movie. <laughs> oh, <for laughs> podcast. Yes. There is no <laughs> Hamlet, the movie, the video game. I've actually got one. Okay, yeah, go on. Last of Us. Oh, there's already a movie coming out. I believe that is coming out. It's coming out already. Okay, fair enough. But I think that because the narrative, it's so you have shit creepy. Five nights, think of another one. Five nights, Freddy's. If kind of it flows very nicely in the narrative, it'd be a, a gorgeous movie. Because the thing you want is something that's kind of on rails, don't you? That's it's very nice idea. and artistic. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you want something that's on rails that could translate into. It's got, it's got a nice color palette into a TV show or a, or, a, or a movie rather even, than something that's quite. <coughs> open. Even like the clickers look pretty. Um, I don't know then. Heavenly Sword. You did like that game, didn't I you? I did like that game. You're just doing it out of that. It's like Conan the Barbarian with a woman one rather than a man one. Yeah. But that could be quite an oh, interesting... Oh, I have decided. Yeah. Bayonetta. I would prefer it as a TV series. It weirded me out. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. There was like a Jesus train. I love And then Bayonetta. she had like... All about the Jesus train. Choo, choo, choo. choo. My favourite thing about Bayonetta is like the amount of fan service. I talked about I this in the say, last yeah, episode. YouTube just went for like the most boob out experiences you could think of. Well I was thinking because she's got like a pistol in her. I don't know how it's going to work. In her <coughs> heels. In her heels. Thank you. But, how uh, does that work? Are her... She's a witch. I know that her... I know that her suit is her hair. Are her boots her hair as well? No, well... Or does she actually just have boots? I don't know. Because that's kind of Rune's experience for me. Well, it, in the beginning of Bayonetta 2, she kicks her gun heels off, and she's like, this is why I never buy anything on sale. And I'm like, oh, Bayonetta, you're oh, so... Oh, you're such a sassy... so whimsical and funny. So it's kind of like a witch version of Sex in the City. Kind yes, of. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's fucking hilarious. With a Jesus chain. I love it. <laughs> All aboard the chain to salvation. <laughs> 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 right, okay. See, this how I apparently have to pick... Um... Crash Bandicoot, the film. Oh, I would actually love that. I'd love that. That'd be, that's Imagine a really good a idea. Cra- okay, no, no, no. I'm going to be specific. Crash Bandicoot, a TV series, Ooh. but with the writers of the Sonic Boom TV show. Oh, my God. Have you seen any of that? Yes. It's actually fucking brilliant. It's so funny. Yeah... Um, but no, I caught myself watching it once, and I was like, "Why is this better than the why game?" Why is this like? <laughs> they could honestly like not sell any more games; just release DVDs in yeah. the game boxes, and it would be an infinite yeah. time yeah. more successful. Um, but no, the answer I also had was it, I, I kind of want a Worms game, TV show. Yeah, t- yeah, TV or show, film. Worms yeah. game, TV show. Would it yeah. be like Mash just with worms? No, Mash is too serious. That's and you could have idea, W and still do the little asterisks. Wash. Worms. That's a real good idea. <coughs> I'm all up for that. I am the idea man. <laughs> okay, right, we'll get filming next Tuesday then. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yes. yeah we'll all get your worm costumes on. <laughs> Still around here. Exactly, just evening. being naked. I'm made. Well, no, I've got like a kind of um, a pale... Like a bodysuit thing. Yeah. Is it just it. you? Yes. Yeah, so is it a right? so my suit? Yeah. Like I'm a sexy knickknack. Yes. <laughs> what? Nice Tom Smith in here. Brown or pink knickknack? knick-knack. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the crisp. Yeah, I'm that's s- what I'm asking. I is know. <laughs> Wait, now I'm thinking of Twiglet. Sorry. Yeah. I'm like a sexy knickknack. I'll come sit over here. I've rolled around in petroleum jelly for half an hour. Before <laughs> I've come over. <laughs> the TV show is going to be the best I'm so excited <laughs> Okay Okay so our second question was from um, an actually, I'm not done yet I'm oh, not, not. Oh, no, I am gone <laughs> <laughs> From a re- relatively new listener This is uh, Sam BC Whose username is Sam underscore BC1 um, Who simply asks us uh, Thoughts on the Warhammer Total War um, My only Ooh. thought is They use the word war too much what is it good ha! for? That got a laugh when I said that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. War. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Say it again now. War. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, answer the question. What <laughs> is it good for? Yeah, okay. Let's answer, uh, because ne- none of us actually really know about uh, Warhammer, shall we just ask each other, what, what do you think about war? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I- I'm, if only, Let me go then. If only the government knew. Right, guys? Hey, right, guys. I think Political that satire. I think yeah. that it's good to get um, your country to have some sort of enemy when the true enemy is yourself. Deep. That was, yeah, that was awfully deep. I, f- <laughs> I feel like, like the end of a drunken conversation, which I suppose really we are. We are. No, but again on Warhammer, I played it once when I was 14. 
Um, was this like the online? No, or? no, the actual figurine thing. Oh, right. If you factor in the fact you're playing, you're, you're paying even a lot of money to buy the little unpainted figurines, then you've got to paint the fuckers. Yeah. And then you've, you've got to get someone that actually plays it as well. And then and you're then... essentially playing with dolls, and you're just playing fucking Barbie's fucking doll tea party. And like, just with explosions. Yeah. Just go play with a six year old girl. That, that's a TV show I'd like. But to not say. in like. Uh, uh, Shall we just swiftly move on before Robert incriminates it's himself? Robert incriminates him further as a paedophile. <coughs> no, I tried playing once when I was 14, and it is so long. Like, the game just goes on for ages. Yeah. I don't know what yeah, that else is long. That's what I'm saying! My, my jail record for playing <laughs> 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 children. <laughs> <laughs> that is more than two podcasts that I have tried to incriminate myself for being a paedophile. I'm not a paedophile, please. MI5, if you're listening, he's not a paedophile. I, um, like, I like people well above my own age. 80 I hear they've got to be 80 at least that's what I hear anyway well, I mean, hi Stephen <laughs> well I mean Stephen Stephen's actually younger than me shit Aww. how much by are we actually just going to keep calling him Stephen or shall we call him by his real name no I'm not calling him by his real name ok we'll call him Stephen Stephen <laughs> Stephen Stephen's two years younger than me he's, yeah. tw- he's 20 in January so it's fine Aww. it's alright then it's not yeah. paedophilia anymore in it I tried just going back to it again to make my third stamp at the point. Alright, try again. I tried playing it. You know that fucking play? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make stabs at our podcast. No, I, go on, come on. I tried playing it when I was younger, when I was about 14, and it's just so dull. Like the actual kind of um, deal with it. The actual, um, <laughs> the actual um, kind of figurine game. I've never played like a. Um, a version on a computer, I imagine it'd be a lot quicker. But the, the additions that I've seen have been kind of really turn based, kind of almost um, plants versus zombies ish on the kind of yeah. level of interactivity you've got. So I don't really know what I think about it. I'm not like I say I've done I've not seen the release of what it's gonna be. What's it called? Warhammer Total Warhammer War? Total War. Yeah. War, 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 War. Is it online? Is it offline? I don't really know. But this is the the, the we don't do research on this, is it? We we had yes. a, we had a little bit of research in, as in we googled it and said, "Yep, it's a Warhammer game." <laughs> That's as far as we got. Um, yeah, it's coming out later this year. I, I think. think it sounds fun. I'll give it a go. Why not? Yeah, in it. Why do I, mean, I keep I, saying in it? Because I've never tried. I mean, I, I don't know anything about the Naruto's, but I played that a little while ago. <laughs> how oh, how was the Naruto's? Naruto's? That was all like, right. The Naruto Shippuden. Yeah, that was all right. That's, I, that's his Japanese accent. It's bad. I love that game. I play a lot of it. I had some. I don't have a TV, so... Let's go, yeah, let's go play it now. Let's just... Let's Bye, guys! <laughs> we're, well, I mean, we're well over our episode. Like, yeah, anyway. we can actually end the episode now and we're not feel up. guilty. Can we Can we just finish with some nice closing statements, like Jerry Springer style? Okay, so okay. So it's not been like an hour of debauchery I did shouting. not touch that boy. It's not been an hour of shouting and kind of us carrying on and being drunk. Yeah, we can just let's talk about... some closing points. I have balls in my mouth. Bah, that's why my bah, voice bah. is a bit kind of. Is, I'm kind of catching my throat a little bit. That's why that's happening. <laughs> Blake, would you like to make any closing statements? I would love to. That's why my voice is catchy because Robert's got my balls in his mouth. <laughs> but let me close properly. I'm glad that story arc came to an end. <laughs> let me close properly. It's been lovely to be here. I oh, really, it's been really, awesome. really enjoyed it. It's been nice to have you. I'd love to come along. Not probably not every week, but I'd love to come along and do it again yeah, occasionally. It's, it's, it's been a, it's been a riot. And for something that we hadn't, we didn't we well, think about it. We were panicking so much. I don't know where you guys were. I was just showing up for, to have a laugh and have a bit of a joke around. You guys were panicking so much. For yeah, like you content. went to have a fucking cigarette while we were like planning actions, and yeah, you know, we had like one of those war tables and pushing like bits. And back Blake and was like, "That's what you were doing." If we, inv- if we invade Blake Palestine was... <laughs> from this direction, will we have something to talk about? Yeah, on the podcast? <laughs> Blake was just like, "You lot talk shop. I'm gonna go smoke <laughs> a doobie." Just... Whoa, Blake! Whoa! 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 Inappropriate drug use. Hey, hey! Pass the doobie down the left hand side, Blake, for it is four twenty. <laughs> 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 Smoke the marijuana, sir. I think that song says Dutchie, or is it? Like, I thought it was Doobie. Is no, it? Uh, it's a Doobie down the left. Down it's, side. it's not Doobie. I don't really know. But, but yeah, it's, it's been lovely to be here. I've really enjoyed yeah. it. It's either Dutchy or Touchy or something. <laughs> it's past a Touchy. I don't know drugs. It's past the Stanleys. Past the Stanley down the left hand side. Past that Mary Jane to me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, why don't we go hit a blunt? Yeah. Let us go take a hit on our massive bongos. Bong! Damn it! I've been informed. I've been informed that it is a duchy. Oh yeah! Is that because is that because Dutch people like the marijuana? Well, on that note. <laughs>
<laughs> let's all do some uh, closing yeah. kind of like let, goodbyes please Nathan tell, no, tell no, the no, internet no, no. closing statements then we'll do our self um, wanking I really enjoyed being here I liked talking about sex with everyone it was a grand old time I was I could break banks right now with my erect rock hard penis I'm having a great time. I'm I mean, you already broke my doors in. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting some sort of like the sexual tension in this room is pseudo sexual gay relationship right, right here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right. So t- to clarify, Robert is satisfied. Blake is going to break into a bank with his erection, and I'm going to go make sure my bank is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. And then applause happens. And Thank you. Waves. Yeah. <laughs> and like the the credits roll. <laughs> Just kidding. It's an audio show. Yeah, starring Nathan as the best boy. Nathan, best boy, where they can, where can they find you on the internet? If Please you want self-wank to... yourself. <laughs> self-wank yourself. Self-wank yourself. <laughs> if you want to find me on the internet place, you can find me on the Twitter, which I, I think I've kind of neglected over the past week or so, but it, I don't care. You neglect it all the time! <laughs> I'm I do. It, I deal with it sometimes. Can I go to the toilet now? No, no you have to wait. We're not quite done. Oh, we're not quite. Sorry. Okay, Blake. Blake, you 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 promote yourself, then you can pop off for a wee. I'm Blake. Come check my shit out. It's good. He Where can they like find? Where can... Yeah, he doesn't actually have any. Hang on. Are you gonna find his? Um... No, never mind. Come follow me on Facebook. My Twitter's too. Twitter. No, don't. Uh, we don't advertise our Facebooks on here. What are we, common people? Yeah. Come follow me on my Twitter. It's good. You'll like it. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier. Just go back and listen to it if you want. It's got loads of shots of my penis on there. It doesn't. It doesn't. What? <laughs> <laughs> it will do by the end of this evening, though. I imagine that's going to happen. Yes. Can you, Robert? Do me a favor. Can you just read out what my Twitter is, please, my friend? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find the. Oh, fuck. Just bear with my Yeah, just go back to the anti-social. This is the kind of. I wanted to find it on my one. Oh yeah. It is. Uh, Blake, would you like to read it out? I will read it out. It's at. Here we go, my friends. Listen up. Put your. Get your hands out your pants. Here we go. B L. But it's Blake, isn't it? B L A K E. R I. Here come the numbers. 2 3 8 4 2 2 5. And then do yourself a 6, my friend, and you're there. Coincidentally, that's, that's also his phone number. Colin. Also, if you translate Ring that into, me. if you if you crack the code, that spells out Pussy Boys. Pussy nice. Boys. <laughs> it's a bit of shameless self promotion there for the Pussy Boys. <laughs> uh, if you want to find me on the internet, my Twitter handle is at who Nate. You can find the YouTube channel uh, um, Who Needs Quality on YouTube. Um, the Tumblr, it, fun. the Tumblr is still definitely not Nate. Uh, you, I, I'm actually reposting some funny things that my husband is doing, in which taking conversations that he and I have that are slightly amusing and posting them on there. On what? On, on the team. I'm, in oh, this. I'm reblogging them. That, I'm actually, uh, Robert, if you could please promote yourself, I will cl- quickly look them up. Sup, broskies. My things you can find me on the internets with is on Twitter, where my username is at Robert has a vlog. That is R O B E R T H A S A V L O G. That was my imitation of Nathan. Um, what? How's that sound like anything like me? Because He's you're always, because you right? you're always like, because you're always like, oh, you can find me at Twitter. At, who's that, Nate? That's. I S- want W-H-O. to be sure that people. Could, <laughs> sure, you could say to people, "There's there's gold in their mountains," but no, you could say, "Oh, you just go up to the first peak and find the find the mine shaft." That's the easiest way to get to the gold. No, you can't just tell them <laughs> to make their own way. They are not wandering adventurers like we are. Where's the mine shaft? I want to get down there. <laughs> uh, Robert's pants. <laughs> yeah. um, praise it and praise it. You can also find me on Instagram by the same name. Um, and then you can find me on Tumblr if you're so inclined, and you're a basic bitch like me. Um, at uh, oh fuck, what's my ah ecto ecto b one ologist. A that's e c t o b one o l o g i s t. That's all right. I'm almost there. Shit, I'm just have to. Fist- While you're at it, why don't you go on YouTube and check out some videos that are going up probably either today or th- whenever you're listening to this. Or, well, I don't know. It's probably out when you're listening to this. Ah, just smell take, the professional. <laughs> just take a fucking look. Uh, Use your eyes. Uh, the YouTube channel is Who Needs Quality. That's W H O N E E D S Q U A L I T Y. I was supposed. I was supposed to tell my amazing joke. Robert, I came up with an amazing joke the other day. Please, please. I've heard it. It's really good. I'm so excited. It's really good. 
Did you hear about the explosion at the cheese factory? Well, no. Debris went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's Isn't that great? Amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy with that joke. It's the that best. Is, that is actually funny. Um, what are we still looking for? Um, I'm still looking for one of the entries. I'm just fisting through all the, the ponies. You do. Well, you heard fisting. it here first. Nathan fists. You're fisting through all the ponies. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he put on there when I announced that I was a sea pedophile, but I don't think that requires context. A sea context. pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what even one of those is. Yeah, okay. Um, I will read the part of myself. Robert, if you could read the part of my husband, though. Okay. I am husband, though. Yeah. Do you think a baby will be more difficult than a cat? We've got this the wrong way around. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You guys, Do you on. think a baby will be more difficult than a cat? <laughs> Definitely. But a baby can't shit on the curtains. It could shit on you. I can take a shower, though. You can't shower a curtain. Unless it's a shower curtain. Oh. And that's why I was nominated Funniest Personal Life by the Tory party. <laughs> That was brilliant. Well then, I did you that. did you advertise the um, the tw- the podcast stuff? Oh, you can find us at Libsyn or on um, the iTunes. Yeah, if you go to the iTunes, if you want to leave us a rating of five oh, stars, if you that's fine. Leave a review saying how much you enjoy the podcast and how much our fucking dulcet tones are amazing. Then you could do that. If you um, want to do that thing, but say isn't Blake amazing? Yeah, you keep them all the I time. Will, if you want to leave a one star review and like leave it with, I will change this to a five star if you bring Blake back for the rest of the episodes. That's fine as well. That's that's cool too. And I'll give you a picture of my boobies. They're they good. Are, rub on they my are, boobies. They are some nice boobies. Robert's seen them. He, he knows. He has no boobies. He's as flat as Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> One time in maths, someone said, oh, I've lost my ruler. Can I use your chest? <laughs> <laughs> you might be right there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can find the uh, Twitter oh, you know, for the podcast at person. Antisocial PCAS. Let's end this fucking train wreck, shall we? Please, if we could. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you for having me, guys. Bye, That's guys. Okay, we'll time, Blake. Bye, guys. As if we're just going to chat shit for another half hour. Bye, guys. After this. Exactly. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Go relieve yourself. Yeah, we're not, we've not stopped recording. This is gold. Go, have fun. Gonna, I was going to go to the toilet. Alright, have fun. Don't have too much fun though, because that's weird. Do you want to pass me the microphone? I'll call myself having a weed. Do you, do you need me to hold it for you? No, let's yeah, cut it off now. Kill it.